Ah, Shirley Chisholm once said, if they don't give you a seat at the table, bring a folding chair. Well, these women brought their seat plus some. This year, A Seat at the Table hosted its annual sisterhood gathering to celebrate women making a difference within our community. Today, some of the women honored at this year's banquet are here to talk about the importance of supporting black women, businesses, and their initiatives. Please help me welcome, it's the all-star lineup, y'all. We got Jordan Coleman, CEO and founder of A Seat at the Table, Kiana Harrison-Williams, Kelly Kaufman, and Dr. Itora Apoko. Thank you. That listen, Doc was my my seat at the table, buddy. When we went, ladies, how we feeling? Good. 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 Isn't isn't this melanated fun just so good? <laughs> First of all, is anybody else wondering like when we gonna go shopping with everybody in here? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. So for anybody who has never heard of a seat at the table, Jordan, tell me briefly what you all do. So our mission is focused on helping women of color get to the table, stay at the table, have power at the table, and bring other women alike to the table. So we shatter that glass ceiling for women of color. You know, when it, what does it mean to you all as women and business professionals to have an organization like this one, a seat at the table, to see you and be providing these types of services? Oh, I, when I first met Jordan and she told me about her organization, I was so eager to join in. Um, a seat at the table really amplifies black women's voices and literally provides a seat at the table. They share resources and plan some awesome events and lets us get fly. Let me tell y'all, if you haven't been into a seat at the table event, you haven't really been to an event that really loves you like that. Cause my goodness, you walk in, you feel so good. Uh, you know, when, when we were hearing you all's bios, my mouth just continued to drop. I remember when you got to the mic and I was like, can she just be my new best friend? I so like, don't cry, don't cry. Don't cry. <laughs> so, okay, so you've been serving this community for a while. I mean, you do amazing design work. Um, you know, you just, you uplift people. What was it like to be recognized in that way? Well, you know, when Jordan called me, I said, Jordan, this is Kiana Harrison. She's like, I know who this is. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, it was mind blowing. I literally went speechless for several minutes as I was like, why? Why me? I'm just doing what God told me to do. I know. That's a t-shirt. You all know how we feel about having t-shirts. I mean, my goodness. So, you know, when we have an organization like A Seat at the Table help entrepreneur and minority women working in corporate America, um, you know, how does that impact our community as a whole? Because we see you, but sometimes people don't really see you. Yes. How do you think that this helps? It helps to have a role model people who are looking at you because some of us we didn't have that to look at mm. look towards so if you don't see it then you won't believe it and then having this organization to be a part of and um, being recognized with a whole bunch of other beautiful black women it was exceptional to let me know that if not me, I have some other people that you can look to. Mm -hmm. This is an example for you, an example for others. And please understand when I say we have examples at this table quickly when I point to you, tell people what you do and why you were honored. I'll start with you, Doc. <laughs> My name is Dr. Itoro Pogo. I'm a family medicine physician with Community Health Network. I was honored for the Advocacy Award, and so that award is for individuals who are a pillar in the community that speak up for you on your behalf when you feel like you can't speak up for yourself. So I'm that person in healthcare where you come to me, maybe you haven't been listened to, maybe you're struggling, and I want to hear you and I want to help you. And you, Kiana? So I'm Kiana Ray Harrison Williams and I am an entrepreneur. I own her home design, interior design firm. We do interior design, home staging, and remodeling. I was honored as Woman of the Year. Yes! Um, I was honored because I, uh, I, I just do the work that God tells me to do and I don't, I'm not looking for any attribution, I'm not looking for anybody to say good job, I just want to wake up in the morning and do what I love. This is my passion and I, I just, I love doing it. And I'm so grateful to Jordan to see at the table because it does amplify what we, what we do and, and make it even better. This is a male dominated field, so y'all oh, already yes. know. And last but not least, Kelly Kaufman. Mm -hmm. I was awarded the Entrepreneurship Award for launching the Black Down Syndrome Association. We are one year already. Oh, that's Congratulations. Awesome. Yeah, Congratulations. Jordan, you keep doing this work. And I'm, I'm so proud of Jordan. You all just don't even understand. You also have an upcoming event taking place September 30th. Tell us about Cis Exhale. What's that about? So it's our mental health event focused on helping women really just talk about things that 
we don't normally talk about. It's a safe space for us to come together and really tackle issues that we're facing. Um, this time we're talking about grief. We'll have a special grief counselor, Ray, with us, and she'll really dive into that topic and help women navigate, because grief is bigger than death, right? Mm -hmm. It's divorce, it's grieving your kids growing up. And so having a safe space for us to discuss that is what we're gonna provide. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> There's a lots of seats at these tables. I, was, I love this so much.